Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another two box break of 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer. Great time to be breaking this with the quarterfinals upon us. Uh, two box, random country number four. One spot gets you two teams, all cards ship. And it's a, a, again, a good time to get this with the tournament getting into the quarters. Big thanks to this group of people right here. Let's double you up. Random.org is back, by the way. So we're back to using random.org. There's all the countries right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and clubs. Eight times. Six and a two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eighth and final time. All right, we got Robert down to Peter. And then six and a two, eight times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Switzerland down to Slovakia. All right, Robert with Switzerland, Jose got Croatia, Corey with Russia, EA with Turkey, Corey with Scotland, Peter with Denmark, they're in the quarters, Jose with Poland, Alex with Wales, Corey with North Macedonia, Robert with France, Alex with Italy, they're in the quarters, Peter with Hungary, Peter, uh, Peter Rosas with Hungary, Peter Lombardo with the Ukraine, they're in the quarterfinals, Corey with Finland, EA's got Belgium, they're in the quarters, Corey with Spain, they're in the quarters, Peter with Austria, Taylor with Sweden, uh, Alex with the Netherlands, Taylor with Portugal, Alex with uh, England, they're in. I think Czech Republic are in too, Corey. Peter R with Germany, Peter L with Slovakia. Uh, let's see if we can get all this on one screen here. There we go. So let's sort alphabetically by country. Any trades? We'll keep the video running while, uh, while we're doing this trade window. We got... The uh, Phoenix Suns at Clippers on in the background. Somewhat close. I don't think it's a double digit leader. It's 94.82. All right, so Clippers are down a little bit. They need a big fourth quarter if they want to do a game seven. Yeah, no worries, Kephas. Yeah, we, it, it got it got kind of busy today. Packed packed with the orders, but I'm glad we finally got that done. So look out for that video in the morning. Well, there'll likely be a recap at, at the end of that too. If you want to skip ahead. All right, looks like no no one's even chatting about any trade. So let's just roll. Let's get to it. We got a busy night ahead of us. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. Good luck. Marcus Cousins' technical foul. He disagrees, of course. All right. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. There's another two-box break that's pretty close to filling. So grab those spots, lock it in on the schedule before other things fill up. Um, who does everyone have in Switzerland, Spain? Now, Switzerland looked very lively against France. They were, they were down very lively and resilient. France were up 3-1, close to the 80th minute. And then Switzerland ended up tying up the game, lasting through extended time. 
and then and then beat the French in uh, penalties. Now, how did Spain get there? Spain, I think they... Oh, yeah. Spain. That was an eight-goal match. Spain beat Croatia 5-3. That was kind of a back and forth. The defense looking a little shaky, but I mean, they still scored five goals, though. Are they going to do that every time? Maybe not. Switzerland, Spain. That might be a tough matchup for Spain. Switzerland can stay strong defensively. And then catch Spain off guard. Could be an interesting matchup. And then there's Belgium versus Italy. Belgium beat Portugal 1-0. And how did uh, Italy get there? I think... And they beat Austria 2-1 in extended time. That's going to be a good match, too. There's Louis Schaub for Austria. That'll be for Peter L. And there's Mason Mount. Alex with England. And all cards will ship. And as I've mentioned before especially if you're not too familiar with soccer, it, it may be worth looking up a lot of these cards just because you never know with the value of soccer, especially rookies. You know, they, they could have tons of future value, especially in soccer. Not a lot of supply out there in soccer and a decent amount of demand, so that keeps soccer prices pretty strong for the most part. Charore right here to 99. For Spain, that'll be for Corey. Is this the Hungarian Dominique for Peter Rosas and Diogo Jota, Liverpool man, going to Portugal? Uh, Taylor. I expect a little more from Portugal, but I think their defense was was a little shaky. Jaden Sancho could be in for a maybe possibly a big move to to the English Premier League. And there's Nico Williams, rookie auto for Wales. That's going to be for Alex. He's also a Liverpool player who possibly I don't think Liverpool is eager to sell him. This youngster here, but they they may if they get if they get the right offer. It'll be interesting. He's a solid player, though. That's Jaden Sancho for England. That's Alex with the three lines. These red parallels, not numbered, but again, everything ships. So you get everything you see here. If there's Phil Foden, Cristiano Ronaldo, I feel like they all they always follow each other. Does Cristiano Ronaldo have one more tournament in him? I feel like he maybe does. The World Cup coming up. We'll have to see how his domestic campaigns go, but if he stays healthy, there may be another another solid another uh, World Cup window for him. And still be like a, you know, and, and still put in 90 minutes. A 
lot a lot more was expected from Germany too. I think Timo Werner and Timo Werner on Chelsea too. I think a lot was expected for him. Timo Werner, Germany, that goes to Peter Rosas. Scott McKenna, that rookie mosaic, uh, goes to Scotland. That'll be for Corey. And there's Jack Grealish, of course, for the three lines. All right, next box. What about Czech Republic at Denmark? How did Czech Republic got there? Because they beat the Netherlands 2-0, beating the Orange. And Denmark got there. Uh, they beat... Wait, where, where is that match? Oh yeah, they oh yeah they beat Wales, four nil. Pretty comfortably. After that Christian Eriksen scare, they they really look good. And the Euros sometimes could be a tournament where where yet like a if the big clubs aren't looking good, there there can be some surprises. Yeah, mix up saying the Czechs spoiled your fun. You were looking forward to the Dutch in the semis. No, that would have that would that would have been that would have been a fun match to watch. I thought they'd be. I don't know too much about the Czech Republic. I would have been on the Netherlands for sure, with uh with one night one and whatnot. They've got a pretty good club out there, but. Not having Van Dyke, I think, has definitely made their made that defense a little soft. But yeah, Denmark, they do look like they're playing with purpose. I think I think Den. I mean, maybe I'm a I'm probably this is probably a square pick, but I, I'm definitely taking a Denmark. Ukraine, England, Ukraine got there in an exciting two-one win in uh, extended time. Over Sweden, that was a great match if you were watching that. And then England, of course, very solid and steady. 2-0 victory over Germany. And uh, getting, the, getting that off their backs, they've always struggled with, with seeing Germany in international competition, especially knockout stages. Oh, the sending off is what the professor. Well, I, I think I gotta go with. I think I gotta go with England. They've got a solid club. There's Christian Eriksen, Gareth Southgate. Really has him playing some solid footy. Great defense. I think that steady defense has really helped them big time. There's Ruben Diaz, 8 out of 10 for Portugal. Taylor with Portugal. I know, only, only took 55 years. It's coming home, mix up. It's coming home. Maybe not the Jules Rimet, but a major tournament win. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got a little uh, I've got a little investment in uh, in the in the Azuri. Yeah, like I mentioned before, my, my heart would like to, just because I'm so familiar with, with England players, my heart's with, uh, with England. Just because of my familiarity. But, I mean... Italy looks like it's their tournament to lose. I do. I think I have. I, I gotta check, but I think I think I do have 
a little bit of investment splashed on Switzerland and Denmark. So I'm happy that those teams are at least in the quarters. I have more faith. Well, trust me. I, it, I've been watching since the uh, since the Michael Owen years, which which is which is eventually what led me to following Liverpool. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot of been a lot of sad times for England. <laughs> a golden generation come and gone. There's Mason Greenwood. We might we might see. I don't know if he's been getting minutes, but we might see Heinrich Dalsgaard for Denmark in action. So, Peter, keep an eye on Denmark and how they're doing. Maybe that kid will do something amazing, and will help that value card value that card value go to the moon. The other autograph is going to be Luis Figo. Nice, old Portugal legend going to Taylor. All right, Sebastian Larson and Emery Chan at the end here. And that's that. That was a, a nice two-box break. I love this. This stuff looks great. Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer, two-box random country number four. I feel like there. I feel like we're we're on the cusp of like an out of five or a one of one or a really awesome autograph or something like that about to pop. So keep things going. We got two more breaks of this. Break five and then break six will be the last one. I don't know if we have any more than that, but just keep an eye on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.